Pangolin allows you to buy small avalanche gems when they've just come out. But wouldn't it be cool if you could set limit buy and sell orders to buy and sell at certain prices? Well, there's actually a way to do that. What's up? My name is Caroline and this is Wealth in Progress where you'll learn how to make passive income with cryptocurrencies. In this video, I'll show you how you can place limit buy and sell orders on Pangolin using Velox. So Velox is a separate application that you can use in combination with Pangolin and that allows you to say, okay, I want to buy this coin, for instance, let's say Teddy, because that has been the, the last gem that I keep talking about. So for instance, let's say you want to sell Teddy at a certain price. So you bought Teddy really low and now you want to sell it at $10. Instead of having to wait and maybe miss the moment, you can say, you can determine in that app, okay, I want to buy, I want to sell it at $10. So you can set that up now and then completely forget about it. And what's also cool is you can at the same time also set, set up limit buy orders. So for instance, if it drops all of a sudden and it has just like a candle wick going down, you could also set up buy orders that could be fulfilled without you having to do anything else. So you can determine that now and that is, that's a set it and forget it kind of thing. Now, speaking about Teddy, we've actually shared that much, much earlier in the DeFi Academy. We first talked about it when it was at just 17 cents and it has been pumping hard since then. So if you'd like to get early access to gems like that and much, much more, then go down to the description and subscribe to my newsletter to get all the information about how you can join the DeFi Academy as well. All right, let's dive in. All right, so I'm now in Pangolin and you can see on the top here, it says set a limit order on Velox. So you need to click on Velox. So that will open up and that's what we're gonna use now. So you can see on top, it's selling beta, so it might be a bit buggy, but it's also, it's always a great way to use new things when they just come out because they don't have a token yet. So that might also be an airdrop opportunity. We also share a lot of new airdrop opportunities in the DeFi Academy as well. Kieran is our airdrop hunter. He finds tons and tons of new projects that could have an airdrop in the future. So don't forget to subscribe to our newsletter to get all the information about how to join us there. All right, now, first of all, we need to connect to our MetaMask wallet. So we need to click on that and then click on next and connect. All right, now, first of all, you need to select your exchange because you can also use it for Ethereum, for Uniswap, for instance, but we now use Pangolin. So we click on that and it automatically uh, updates the gas limit. And then you can need to select your token pair. So for, in for this example, we'll take Teddy. So for instance, you want to sell Teddy at a certain price. So you type in Teddy in here. All right, now you see a couple of options, but what I recommend you to do is actually choose Teddy Wawa, Teddy Vavax, because this has the most liquidity. I've tried the, uh, some of the other pairs and they didn't work because there wasn't enough liquidity. So we'll choose that. So what that is, is wrapped Avax. So that is pegged to Avax, but it is a wrapped option because otherwise it can't interact with the with the smart contract. So that's why it needs to be wrapped. But since for this example, we want to sell Teddy, that doesn't matter anyway. So we click on that. Then next click on allowances and wrapping. So when you first use that, you need to unlock both options. So we click on unlock. So we need to confirm that unlocking. All right, so how to try, try twice. You can see it's in beta. Some things don't work super smoothly, but then you need to do the same for the for Vavax as well. So click on unlock and then again, confirm it in here. All right, once that's all set, you can click on exchange. So it is actually predetermined to buy Teddy. So it will tell you how much Vavax you want to sell to buy Teddy, but we want to do it the other way around. So you need to click on that arrow and then you need to click on, you need to enter how much Teddy you want to sell. So in my case, I can actually do max. So there's 10 Teddy. So I want to sell Teddy for Vavax when the value of Teddy is more equal to a certain USD value. So that's a really cool thing. You can put in the USD value. So I want to sell it when it's at $10. Then you also need to determine the slippage. You can actually just leave it like that. Or if you click on the information button, you see how much it should be. So it should be at least 0.3%. So 0.5 is fine. Now, if you want to buy Teddy with Vavax, I'll quickly show you that as well. You just first need to wrap it. So what you need to do is you need to sell any token for Vavax, so you need to swap it. So for instance, 0.1 Avax, and then uh, want to swap it to Vavax. So you get the exact same amount. Now I currently have an insufficient Avax balance, but otherwise it would be just a swap. Very easy, very straightforward. And then in that case, you could also buy Teddy at a certain price, and then it would just be the other way around as it has been when you just opened it. 
All right, but now we want to sell it at $10, so that's all good. And now you can click on Review and Deployment to have an overview of what you've chosen. And what I like to do is I like to choose two retries. So in case it doesn't go through the first time, it tries three times, and then you have a higher chance of it actually going through. Again, it's in beta, so it might not work every, every time, but it's a great way. But I have used it a couple of times, and for me, it has worked every time. So really, really cool feature. All right, then once that's good, you click on review, you get the, old, the whole overview again, and once you're fine with that, you can click on deploy. Then again, you need to sign that in MetaMask and you see the success message. So that has all gone through. Now you'll see all your transactions down here, but first you need to sign that as well. So you click on verify now, and then again, sign that in your MetaMask wallet. And now you see that has been that, that's that transaction that I've just put in. And then once it hits that price and once it gets executed, it shows you the tries. And then once it has gone through, it will show up a little, I'm not sure what the icon is, but you'll see a little icon that shows you that it has actually gone through. If you like this video, hit the like button down below, share with your friends and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.